What's up, Dart family? We are back in the Dart language tour, control flow statements, while and do while. Believe it or not, we can get tripped up in something as easy as this. It looks super simple. Um, okay, let's start with the definition of while. Okay, if, um, you know, while is kind of like those other WH words like what, who, why, where, um, and it just means a period of time. Okay, um, ba, 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 ba. except a while loop, it's a period of time, but it's really just until something is not true anymore. Okay, so the idea is you have an expression, this conditional thing, and as long as it's true, it will just keep running what is, whatever is in between these curly braces. Um, the, the documentation here can be a little uh, difficult to understand. So it says a while loop evaluates the condition. So this is the while loop. We have this keyword. This whole thing is considered the while loop. It evaluates the condition, this thing here in parentheses, before the loop. They're calling the loop the logic in between the blocks, in between the curly braces. Okay, so the way I like to read this is a while loop evaluates the condition before running the logic, before executing the instructions. Okay, let's take this and plug it into DARPAD. And I'm gonna change this to just hard code true. And I'm gonna format it. Um, I'm going to just print, um, like this, I'm doing something. So we should expect while it's true, and, and nothing is changing this since it's hard coded, remember while means a period of time. Well, we haven't told it when to end, so it's like the sun rises and it never sets. Okay? It's just, it never sets. It's, it's, it's always there. Like The period of time is infinite in this case. So in theory, it should really print I'm doing something over and over and over and over and over again, um, in theory. But in practice, it kind of just hangs because before it can even try to print something, it just keeps ex executing that code. Um, and eventually, it, uh, it crashes. All right, something went wrong. Error code, result code hung. Pretty cool error code, huh? All right, so that was helpful. Uh, let's go back, let's change it to false. So while this is false, print I'm not doing something. So remember the while loop, this whole thing, evaluates the conditional before running the code in between the curly braces. Um, if it's false hard coded, this is never going to run and we have a warning over here that says dead code. Try removing the code or fixing the code before it so that it can be reached. So it, it's unreachable. Um, if we run it, it's not going to do anything. It doesn't hang this time because it never gets in here to like try to keep evaluating. Okay, so that's, um, that's what that's all about. So let's instead um, try a condition while x is less than 5. Okay, of course we need to declare a variable x and we'll set it equal to something like 1. Okay, now x is less, less than 5, that's true. If we don't do anything to change x, it's just gonna get hung again. Okay, and my run button isn't coming back, so that's telling me, hey, I've, I've got this error again where I have hung code. Can't do anything, can't do anything. It can be very frustrating when you're like, what is going on? Okay, uh, I'm gonna exit the page and then just come back. Okay, so how do we change it? Well, maybe we need to increment it. X is equal to X plus one. Oops. So 
it's true, it should increment, and eventually x will be greater than, and the condition will be false. The only problem with this, if I write it like, like this, <laughs> is it never actually reaches this code. I don't think, I think it's gonna hang again. So what we need is a way inside, oh, I can't even press enter to do it, now I have to wait for this to die again. We need to move this logic to the inside where it evaluates, if it's true, it goes in it and it prints. Um, in this case, it's actually, I'm doing something, so I'll fix that too. Um, okay, take that, oops, plug it in there, format. I'm doing something. Um, <laughs> All right, it's gonna print. It's gonna increment x by one, okay? Then x will be two, it'll be true. Two is less than five, it'll print again. When it's three, it'll be true, so that's three times. When it's four, it'll be true. But when it's five, five is not less than five. Five is less than or equal to five, or just equal to five. So I'm expecting it to print four times, and then once it's false, it should exit out of the while loop, and then there's nothing left to do in the program, so we're done. Okay, and there's our four print statements, and we're done. Okay, that is a while loop. Uh, you have to be careful to somehow change the value over time, otherwise you could get into an infinite loop. Okay, uh, a do while is, um, is a little bit different in the sense that it evaluates the condition after the loop. So previously we first evaluated the condition and then we did something and we manipulated that condition. Do while is, is just, um, it's just different. Okay, I'm going to comment that out and I will format it. So print line should do something like printing again. Hey yo. All right. Now earlier, when I had while false and I hard coded false in there, it said that our code was wasn't reachable. Um, in this case, though, remember it's going to do it at least once. Then it'll pick up the conditional evaluation, um, and then try to do it again. So it, it's going to print hey yo once. It's going to say, oh, while it's false. Um, and because I've hard-coded it, it's just going to do it once and then exit the program, I think. We'll find out. There it is. Hey yo. Okay, so that's a do while loop. Um, and we still would have to manipulate somehow to put something in here um, to change the value, right? And, you know, we have to do something like this. But in the event it can be false at the very beginning, um, or whatever. In the event it can be false at the very beginning, you ensure that the code is uh, is is ran at least once. Okay, uh, and there are scenarios where you need to do that, um, and that is what while and do while are for. Okay, fundamental um, control flow statements uh, to make sure you get uh, familiar with. Okay, uh, next time we will be going into break and continue. All right, we'll see you then. Bye.